Hi guys, welcome to Visa Simply again, D. Aluvalia. So what we want to talk today, we want to talk about Tasmania. So Tasmania has come out of the list and they have come up with the rules which has not changed in my view. They are similar to what it was on 489 which is a good news and up till now from whatever we have heard, Tasmania is the most easiest state to get the 491 of course you know there are still other states which haven't come up with the list but it seems like Tasmania would be one of the most easiest states guys so now what we are looking in 491 for Tasmania guys so basically there are five different categories to get to be eligible for 491 now the first category is for the graduates guys which is if you study in Tasmania for one year um, full time must live in Tasmania with family if, they, if you want to add the family when, they, when you want to apply for your 491 and of course you know evidence of ongoing genuine commitment we would be able to help you with that so in nutshell guys for especially for the ones who've been into accounting it you can get your skill assessments but you, you start so you know you have applied for a graduate visa 485 you got two years of time go at this money and study for one year and you would be eligible for 491 it's a very you know, it's, it's the most easiest way uh, in my view i see it this way now the other so the second category working in tasmania so now what do you need to do work in tasmania so if you work in tasmania for six months uh, you would be eligible to apply for 491 uh, the good thing is you do not need to work in a nominated occupation now guys there is a short list of occupations which tasmania is not accepting example um, you know driving uber or taxis working in a gas station and there are a few more jobs which tasmania doesn't consider as skilled jobs other than that if you're working in any other job in tasmania you would be eligible to meet this criteria and and you would be able to get your nomination under 491 what other requirements are yes you need to work at least 35 hours or more and if you are or you can work even in two or more jobs but the bottom line is you should be working at least 35 hours or more per week okay the employer should be operating in tasmania for at least last 12 months genuine and ongoing position evidence of ongoing commitment all right now the third category this is for overseas applicants guys so for the overseas applicants your occupation should be on tso list occupation occupation list uh, you should have not lived in Australia in the last 12 months. Uh, you meet the English requirements. Uh, TSL requirements also have to be met. Uh, highly skilled occupation. And you need to provide your financial evidence that you can support yourself when you are new migrant to Tasmania. Now, the ones off for overseas or offshore applicants with the job offer, this is pretty straightforward. All right, if you have a job offer and the employer can prove that there's a genuine need of your position, that's pretty much what you need. Now, family stream. So, all right. Now I say, a lot of you is gonna ask your siblings who are already permanent residents and citizens to move to Tassie to meet this requirement. I know. All right. So, all right. If, if your family, they're permanent resident or citizens or eligible New Zealanders, they should be permanent resident of all citizens in the last for at least 12 months they should be resident of tasmania for at least 12 months uh, yeah the ones who are planning to go to tasmania to make their loved ones permanent resident yeah you got to live there for at least for 12 months then only you would be able to sponsor your relatives on 491 visa now agree to support and assist you now the relationship should be direct so when we say direct relationships so no brother-in-law sister-in-laws and mother-in-laws or father-in-laws either it should be parents your siblings brother sisters grandparents aunt and uncles okay now the fifth requirement in my guys i really find this fifth requirement also very very interesting small business owners demonstrate business established or operating for six months so you are on your 485 graduate visa uh, you can go and establish business in Tasmania and run it for six months and you would be eligible to apply for 491 uh, give you a personal income of 53900 plus super 
I don't see it's a big cost. I don't see if you're not making the sort of uh, that if you're not making the sort of money anyways, I don't think you would be able to survive in Australia, to be honest. Okay, so comprehensive business plan. My team can help you with that. That shouldn't be a problem at all. And evidence and research into business. Again, we can guide you, assist you with that, guys. So again, uh, I'll tell you what. I love Tasmania. I've been there so many times, probably in the last one year. I've, I've been in Tasmania for at least 20 times. Uh, it's, it's a great place. All right, guys, good luck. Um, if you have more questions, contact my office, 1-300-307-451, 1-300-307-451. Visa Simply, Dialo Good luck, love you guys, bye.